Hi, I'm Anton Enes from SBS World News Australia. Sometimes marathon runner, sometimes coffee drinker, always a chamber music lover. So I've had a kind of good relationship with music, um, but mainly as a kind of a shower singer and a you know an appreciative audience member. I come from a working class family in a third world country, so chamber music certainly was not part of the equation early on. It's just something that I sort of happily discovered along the way. As you get older, as you move from sort of more juvenile tastes in pop music and food and you know visual stimulation, you you start looking for something a little bit, uh, something with a little bit more substance, something with a little bit more depth. Um, and I certainly think that happened to me, which is not to say that I'm you know, some great intellectual, I'm just like an ordinary guy who's curious about the world. Um, and it certainly uh, gave me enough of a feeling to know that I wanted something a little bit more. It's what I might call the, the arc of elegance. You're looking for something that is not just functional, something that's not just superficial, something that's not just going to give you a, a quick boost like a, you know, a cheeseburger, you know, it's going to give you an immediate stimulation but five minutes later you've forgotten about it. So I think I was certainly looking for something that was going to give me a bit more of a lasting feeling that I was going to go away thinking about that thing for a long time and I think music really does that to me. My partner and I go to quite a lot of concerts across the, to the various orchestras, uh, the Chamber Orchestra, Brandenburg, Music of Eva, Sydney Symphony and so on, uh, plus a lot of opera. Um, so we get exposed to a lot of live music and I think that is important because I think there's a certain excitement about live music that you just do not get from a CD. And um, I certainly, uh, over the years, I've, I've learned the value of preparing for concerts. So I listen quite intently to CD recordings before I see the concerts and I think that adds a whole new dimension because I think people are scared off because they don't know the music, it's not familiar and they, it's difficult to engage if you don't know the music. So I certainly found for myself that being familiar with the music adds a whole new dimension to it. Sometimes I can appreciate that my brain is responding to the rhythms and the brain is responding to some kind of symmetry, some kind of balance, some kind of, something that's happening in that music that I can't quite, if you ask me to describe it in words, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't have the technical vocabulary to say, oh yes, I understand how they're resolving this particular situation. don't really understand how that works, but I do understand on an emotional level that it affects me and it, it affects me in a really good way and I really love that. All the kind of superficial stuff that's happening, whether it is, you know, cooking competitions on TV or dancing competitions or very loud music or this, you know, the hyper marketing of pop stars, which is just, you know, way above the kind of value that they that they are delivering. If you're prepared to put all that stuff aside and just listen with an open mind to a bit of nuance, a bit of subtlety, a bit of uh, substance, I think people would be greatly surprised.